Take a hike with us on one of the Catskills' most scenic trails as we enjoy a loop hike on the Southern Escarpment Trail in the Northeastern Catskills. So it's a chilly day on the Catskills and we're gonna do a quick loop around North South Lake and some of the Escarpment Trail, so. Uh, Trying to stay warm and uh, we'll take you along for the hike. In the winter time, they don't plow past the South Lake Bam Gate. When we get deep snow, snowmobilers can utilize this road and network of snowmobile trails. It's a beautiful area to do daytime adventures with not a lot of difficulty. We've come down the cross country ski trail from South Lake Dam, and we have now come to where the escarpment trail branches to the left. And if you wanted to go over to the viewing platform for Catterskill Falls, you would turn to the right, go across the bridge, and then the viewing platform is right over there. But we are going to continue this way. making our way down to Layman's Monument. Beautiful Saturday in January. Trek along the escarpment trail, we have made it to Layman's Monument. Monument. Pretty easy walk from the South Lake Dam, almost uh, level or downhill all the way to here. And the monument is in remembrance of a firefighter fighting a forest fire in the early 1900s, trying to protect the houses here. And uh, we are now going to continue on the escarpment trail. We ascend a little bit. Beautiful then, views coming And up. then come to a series of beautiful views of uh, Catterskill Clove. So, take you along. So you might wonder what the trail conditions are like. Snowy and icy. And uh, we wear micro spikes to make it easier. And the ice continues to form. the uh, first of the great views looking down into Catterskill Clove you can hear the road going you can see Mo taking a selfie I have to do it's um, advertising <laughs> there you go hike on guides so we've got many more viewpoints to go but uh, this one is always one of the nicest you just get uh, such an awesome view of high peak and round top across the way
we have made it to Inspiration Point, right? I think so, or Sunset Rock. One of those. We'll check on the map and we'll put the. the this name is underneath. Sunset Rock. Inspiration Point's that way. <laughs> Inspiration Point looks out over the Hudson Valley. I always get them confused. There's, and then there's many, many points and ledges and views, so it's hard to keep track of all the names. But and there's uh, two Sunset Rocks. That's right. Right. On the escarpment trail. So right behind Jeff's head is Grand Top. And then KHP. Catterskill High Peak. High Peak. Catterskill. Catterskill. Dutch pronunciation. <laughs> I like Catterskill. Or High personally. Peak. And then behind my head, we have Hunter. Yeah, you can see the ski runs if you uh, zoom in on this video. Yes. I don't know. Can you do that? Uh, I'm not going to. Well, I meant, can the viewer zoom in on the video? I'm sure they can. So Beautiful day. It sure is. We had a late start, so as you can tell, the sun is a little low in the sky. That's time to like uh, get some more, more breath. You can tell it's pretty cold, probably the teens right now. And uh, what a perfect bluebird, mm -hmm. Catskills day. Mm -hmm. So we're going to continue on to whatever the next view is. See you there. just past the old Catterskill Hotel site and are now on our way to Boulder Rock and Mo is trying to get in the shot. There he is. As you can tell the sun is getting a little bit lower behind us so we are just uh, gonna boogie along. It's more or less flat all the way to Boulder Rock and then over to the Catskill Mountain House site and then we're gonna take the road back to the South Lake Dam. We've made it to the uh, cutoff down to Boulder Rock, but given the afternoon time and the fact that we've been to Boulder Rock a lot, mm -hmm. we're going to keep on going. So there is a losing daylight. So yeah, be safe. Now that we don't have headlamps, we do, but uh, it's always better to keep on moving as you get towards. Plus, the we're trying to catch the sunset on the lake. Yes. So here we go. Mountain House site. This is where the hotel used to sit. Um, and the uh, what is elevating railroad used to come up just down the hill so the guests could. And come. the sun's getting low, so look at that sky. Yeah. The folks would come up the Hudson, get off, take a stagecoach to the Otis, ride the Otis up to this hotel, and get this view. So couldn't ask for better. And uh, we're getting the last bits of daylight out across the Hudson Valley and across over to the Litchfield Hills and the Berkshires. So now we are going to head back to the South Lake Dam. Looks like the uh, beardsicles are in full effect. Yes. So we have uh, left the Catskill Mountain House site. We're walking down the old carriage roads to get to North Lake. North South Lake is your winter outdoor recreation destination. 
It really is for this area. Ice fishing, snowmobiling, skiing, cross country skiing, ice skating when the ice snow skating, is not on the lake. Hiking, snowshoeing. Yeah. Lots to do here. We are very lucky to have it in our backyard. Mm -hmm. And uh, the campground itself is closed in the wintertime, but. Uh, Beautiful to walk through and to ski through. Yes, and they keep the gate open so that you can park by the gatehouse and you can drive down to the South Lake Dam and park there. So that's where we took advantage of the parking. Oh, I'm off screen here. Ah, he's back. I'm trying to focus on not falling. <laughs> well, we will see you down by the lake. Best time of night to walk is at twilight. Clouds may get pink in a little bit like they are here in the backside of this. Not a spectacular sunset, but not bad either. So since the Catskill Mountain House, we've been following the campgrounds access road out to, uh, to that parking lot for the Catskill Mountain House uh, trail and uh, are coming out at the South Lake Dam right now. Definitely getting colder. The verticals have definitely filled in and we have some pink sunset sky that is just looking amazing. I'm pretty sure it's not going to come across in the video, but this is always a great loop. We've done it uh, just under three hours and uh, a couple miles, I think about five miles total. Uh, we'll put the corrected mileage because I'm sure I'll be off uh, up and uh, now just a little bit out to the car. So we made it back to the car or to the truck. It's a chilly 22 degrees outside. I think it's actually chillier than that. Well, with wind. Yeah, but uh, nice little walk. I think it ended up being five and a half miles when yeah. we stopped our things. Still have a few beardsicles that haven't melted out yet. Yep, still coming out. This is always a great walk, whether it's summertime or wintertime. Uh, kind of gives you a little bit of everything and, and all those awesome views into Catterskill Clove and then out into the Hudson Valley. So, great little we, walk. We use it always as a quick afternoon jaunt. And, uh, had a good time, and as a car goes by, <laughs> weird lights there. I know. Um, it's aliens. <laughs> <laughs> but we are looking forward to getting home, making some dinner. Highly recommend this one. And uh, hoping the weather isn't as bad as they say tomorrow so that we can get back out and enjoy the whole weekend. Till next time, okay. see ya. Looking for even more hikes in the Catskills? Check out our Catskills playlist, or for a slightly more challenging hike, check out our video of Hiking Hunter Mountain. Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Mo. And, and we're, we're the, the Hiker, Hiker Trash, Trash Husbands. Husbands. Be sure to like and subscribe. Absolutely. Thanks for watching.